So the new vision for K-12 science education that comes from the NRC framework and the Next Gen Science Standards calls for engaging all youth in meaningful engineering design activities at every grade level. What's important about this is it actually is an educational equity strategy to allow youth, especially those who come from communities underrepresented in STEM, to engage in problem solving related to their own personal interests and to issues that are facing their local communities. This one should go over here because it's connected to government and health. What else uses engineering? Excellent, that's great. We set up a situation where students would have cards that represented each of the topics or subjects that we had taught throughout the year. They took those and they spread them out and they were thinking of ways of what was connected to what. Even if we had learned them at different parts of the year, could they make a connection, a positive connection or a negative connection between the two? So these students have spent a large part of their fifth grade year actually learning and applying science ideas in the context of engineering design projects that they've done across many different settings. And so this activity where they're developing causal loop diagrams like pulls together like the connections between the different topics and concepts that they've been learning over the year. One of the biggest things that's emerged for me is the notion that students are engaging in engineering all the time in their everyday lives. We had them collect pictures across different contexts that they felt were engineering. They included things like gardening. Uh, we have students who work on cars with their parents. And that's really a great starting point for us to implement engineering in the classroom. Not assume that they don't know anything, but assume that they already know a lot and look at how we can build on that. And I guess is poverty connected to health? You don't think so? Okay, so if I... What do you mean? Oh, wait. Wait, like, poor people, kind of like, poor people can't afford to go to the doctor. Ah, okay. So if poor people can't afford to go to the doctor, then they're more likely to what? Okay, and maybe stay sick? Yeah. So what's really compelling about like the new vision is that we get to um, explore how to develop new expansive learning experiences for youth that involve engineering design um, for the first time at kind of a much deeper level than we've ever uh, been able to before. When you position students as experts and you really acknowledge all of the skills and knowledge that they, that they bring into the classroom, that's a really exciting moment for students. They also feel like they're partners in learning, that they're forming their own learning, um, and that's how learning happens.